Many women, when they first start trying for a baby, have been on the pill or contraception for 10 to 15 years. So they know little about their fertility cycles and they need to start understanding again about their bodies. Every woman's cycle is individual to her and her fertility and her ovulation will occur at a different time of the month depending on how long her cycle is or how short her cycle is. But no matter who you are, you still have a five day window of fertility. Five days leading up to ovulation and the day after. Another thing I find is that women focus very much on ovulation and the egg only lasting for 24 hours. When really you should be focusing on the sperm because if the sperm is good and healthy, it will last three to five days inside of you. And if you're having sex at least three times a week, what you're ensuring is that there's a constant flow of sperm up in the fallopian tubes ready for ovulation. How can a woman tell when she's fertile in the month? There will be key indicators that she'll start to recognize, one being the temperature and another being her secretions. Taking your temperature each month, it rises at a certain stage in the cycle, which may mean that you've ovulated. I don't very often advocate this every month because it can make you become quite obsessive. And also there are reasons why your temperature might change if you've had a late night, if you've had alcohol, or if you haven't slept. The next indicator are secretions. And these can be charted on a monthly basis and they generally occur in that fertile window, the five days leading up to ovulation. And what they do is they supply a good environment to enable the sperm to be able to swim up and to reach the egg. There are a lot of myths when it comes to fertility. Commonly, can you save up the sperm or should you save up the sperm? And the answer is no. The more motile the sperm is and the more often you're turning the sperm over, the healthier the sperm is. Another myth is, do you have to wait when you come off the pill to try for a baby to let it out of your system? You're more fertile, actually, when you first come off the pill, so it's really important that you use those months when you first come off to try for a baby. Another myth is which sexual position you have will make a difference to you conceiving or not, and the answer is no. It's all about intimacy, fun, and not baby-making. Many women also think that if they ovulate, they will have a period and the two go together. That's not necessarily true. You can still have a period and not ovulate. Many women have different cycles, long or short, and this will be affected by many factors, late nights, exercise, stress, alcohol. But if you do find that your cycle is irregular, it's important that you go and get a check with your GP.